what is good people think you from Caesar graphics welcome to my channel today we are going to be creating this movie poster that i've tagged nahab all right so today i'm going to be teaching you how to uh, color grade and also how to create custom snow with photoshop so let's dive into today's tutorial so i'm going to create a new document now by clicking on file and i'm going to say new and for this project i'm going to call this nahab here and um, my width is going to be um, 720 and height is going to be 900 now the reason i'm using this frame size is because i'm posting this on instagram right so this is the um this is one of the portrait instagram frame size okay and i'm going to make my resolution um 100 all right because i'm not printing this and color mode is going to be on rgb all right now i'm going to click on the create button now and i'm going to drag my background image in like so so i'm going to move this and drag here all right then i'm going to scale this real big and i'm going to drag the image of my wolf in here and i'll right click and flip this horizontal and i'm going to make this real big like so because this is our focus okay and i'll make a copy of this because i still want to see the um trees on this side of my project so i'm going to make a copy of this and i'm going to move this a bit to the side all right now you see that this is covering the other tree on this side so we are going to add layer max to this and select the brush to i'm going to increase my brush size and make sure that your foreground is set to black before applying it to your layer mask um, take this out from here like so and this is good all right then i'm going to convert this to black and white so to do that i'm going to select the wolf layer and i'm going to select the black and white adjustment here and click on this icon because i only want this to affect the wolf layer and i'm going to move this down like so and let's move this down a bit like so all right this is good all right then i'm going to um, select the wolf layer and i'm going to go to filter and select sharpen and select on sharp marks now the reason why i'm applying the sharp mark filter is to add contracts to the pixels all right uh, so i'm going to uh, make this um, let's say 34 and i'm going to select the ok button uh, so i'm losing the eye of my wolf here so i'm going to zoom in and select the black and white adjustment here and make sure that you are on the layer mask of the black and white adjustment before applying your brush so i'm going to select the brush to here now reduce my brush size and i'll go straight to my brush, brush settings here so if you can't find your brush settings simply go to windows and activate it here all right so i'm going to select the sovereign brush and i'll make sure that my transfer is checked so but if you don't um now this is only for people with graphics tablet okay so if you don't have a graphics tablet simply go to um your flow here and turn it change it to eight and you're still going to achieve the same move okay so the reason why i'm doing that is because i want to be able to control the strength of my brush so i'm going to reduce my brush side and zoom in and just gently take this out from the high take this out here and i'll activate the hue saturation adjustment and dial down the saturation like so all right then i'm going to hit um i think this is fine all right this is okay all right so um the next thing i'm going to do is to drag the image of my character which is the lady and um, this should be here now the reason why this is showing black and white is because we drag this in between the layer of the black and white adjustment and the saturation so we need to move this out by dragging this above the black and white layer like so and um, we have a black and white outside of the wolf layer so we need to put that back on the wolf layer so we need to make it apply to just only the wolf layer so i'm going to click on the um, clip icon here so then i'm going to reduce or scale down the layer of my lady layer like so and i will tip it this way and this should be somewhere here and i'll go to sharpen and select on sharp mask like so and uh for uh the lady layer i'm just going to increase the radius like so and just move this here and hit the ok button then i'm going to activate the 
I'm going to apply the black and white adjustment to the lady layer again and I'll click on the clip icon here and just uh, dial this down and push this up like so then I'll reduce the opacity a bit I already want the shadow on the lady layer to be more stronger all right because the shadow here is too bright for me so what i'm going to do is to select the layer of the lady and i'm going to go to curve adjustment here and just dial this down like so all right so i think this is okay and i'm going to change my blend mode to multiply all right then i'll double click on the layer to blend it the layer like so so like i said i only want this to affect the shadow part of my subject so i'm going to move from this side down to this side like so and hold on alt and click to break the slider and this will move this way and this should move uh to this side like so for the black and white i think i still need to increase that a bit because i really want to desaturate the um the outfit of my subject here all right and um, i'll go straight to levels adjustment here and click to apply levels and i'm going to, i'm just going to increase the levels like so all right then i'll add a layer max to the layer of the lady click and i'm, I'm going to select the brush tool and i'm just going to increase my brush size and i'm just going to gently apply that to the side of the project like so all right so i'm going to apply brightness to this by clicking on the um brightness and contrast adjustment here and just dial the brightness up like so all right so i think i am having an issue with the face here so i'm going to select the brush tool and dial, reduce my brush size and make sure that my foreground is set to black here and i'm just going to take the brightness of the face of my character and some part of the hair like so to create a new layer and call this snow all right and i'm going to hit the enter key select the brush tool and I'm going to increase my brush size like so. And I'm going to pick a color from the from the um, far of my hoof here. And I'm just going to apply that somewhere around here like so. Apply it gently here. Then I'm going to drag my next image in. So this should be here. I'm going to drag that and drop there. And this should be somewhere around here. And I'm going to hit the Enter key. And for this, I'm going to apply... Um, layer mask and make sure still make sure that your foreground is set to black and make sure that um, your flow is still set to eight here because um, my brush settings here still say transfer checked okay so i'm going to take out this side from the scene like so take this out like so moving this down a bit like so Move it out here like so and on this new layer i'm gonna apply layer mask and select the brush to just gently take the snow smoke out uh, this is good all right uh, so what i'm going to do is to drag my snow image here and drop on the layer of my subject here which is the lady and change my blend mode to screen all right and i'm going to scale down my image like so and position this here and i'm going to make a copy of this again position this here a copy of this again rotate it copy so i'm using ctrl j to duplicate the layer all right so um i'm going to move this here make a copy of this again okay and i'll make a copy again this time i'll make this bigger all right and this should be here so I'm going to drag my other image in. And I'll change the blend mode of this to screen again. And convert this to a smart object. And this should be here. Make a copy of this again. Then I'm going to put everything here in a group. So I'll hit, um, so I'm going to hit select all the layers and I'm going to hit Ctrl G to put them in a group and I'll call this snow. Okay. And I'm going to add a layer max to this because we need to take this out from some of the um, part of the face here. So I'm going to zoom in 
and first off what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna hold down control and click on the thumbnail of the lady layer and i'm going to uh hold down alt and backspace to apply the color of my foreground to the layer mask of the snow all right now i'm going to hit ctrl d to deselect this now we don't have the snow on the face of our subject again so next thing i'm going to do now is to hit ctrl i to reverse the mask all right so i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to select my brush to here and i'm going to scrape down my brush like so and under my brush settings here I, i'm going to be on the soft round brush okay uh so what i'm going to do again here is i'm going to um, take make sure that my foreground is set to black and i'm going to gently take the snow out from the face of my subject here like so i'll take it out from here I'm going to create a new layer and call this snow so which is snow particles one two three all right and i'm going to select um this brush right here and i'm going to turn off transfer so i don't want to have faded snow dust and so please remember to turn your flow back to 100 before applying the brush now for uh, if you have photoshop cc 20 20 you should be able to get this brush all right i'm sure you're supposed to get this brush as part of your brush preset all right so i'm going to reduce my brush size now and under my uh, brush settings here i'm going to activate shape dynamic and i'll go straight to the shape dynamic setting here and make sure my angle is set to 60 all right and um so i'm going to scale down my brush and just apply the brush to my subject now make sure that your foreground is set to white here so i'm going to increase my brush side and just gently apply that here like so all right so i'll go back to uh, my brush tip here and use the hard brush and i'm going to scale down my brush and i'm going to zoom in gently then gently apply the brush to the edges of my subject here I think I still need to add more depth to the uh, face of my subject here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on Alt and click on the new layer icon and call this depth. And I'll change my blend mode to soft light and check the fill with soft light neutral color 50% gray option here and hit the OK button. And then I'll select my bone tool here and uh, I'm going to zoom in, scale down my brush, and just gently apply the brush to the face of my subject here so I'm gonna apply that here and here go just to the air apply that here same thing here all right like so all right now this is beautiful all right so for this side i'm just gonna apply that here like so and apply that here All right now this is good okay so uh the next thing i'm gonna do now is to add noise to this so i'm gonna hold on alt and click on the new layer icon here and call this noise and i'm gonna change this to soft light again and check the click the fill with soft light neutral color 50 percent gray option box and i'm gonna select the ok button and i'll go to filter so go to noise and select select add noise and uh i'll make sure uniform is checked and also make sure to check the monochromatic option here and make your amount 12.5 and select the ok button and i'm just going to scale down this down so all right then i'm going to zoom out like so and I'll, so the next thing we're going to do now is to stand visible of the project so to do that i'm going to hold down ctrl shift alt and e and I'll right click and convert this to a smart object and I'll go to filter and select 
sharpen and select smart sharpen all right now for those of you that don't know the reason why it's always good to convert your layer to a smart ob smart object is because um if you notice that um the filter that you apply to the layer is not uh, up to what you're looking at or you notice that you over apply the filter you can easily go back to um, the settings of the filter and then adjust the filter to your preferred uh, look all right so um for my amount here i'm going to leave it as 131 and radius is going to be 0 0.6 and noise is going to be 10 and i'm going to select the ok button uh so the next thing i'm going to do here now is to drag my um snow image in here and i'll hit the enter key go to filter and select blur gallery here and select field blur then i'm going to reduce my blur to four and i'm going to select the ok button then i'll hit the free transform on the layer and select the ok button and all right I'll, I'll increase it like so and hit the enter key and change my blend mode to screen all right now you see the snow the snowflakes on the project here so i'm going to reduce the opacity like so all right and um it's time for us to put our text so i'm going to type the title which is nahab okay and i'll change the color of this to black let's hit the ok button and i'm going to use um helvetica extended a vertical bold ex heavy extended yeah that's it uh it should be nahab not nahab and so i'm gonna activate the free transform and make this bigger like so make this big like so all right then i'm gonna close the tracking all right like so then i'll drag uh my image in like so so i'm gonna drag this and drop here all right and i'll right click select restorize and hit ctrl i to reverse the max and i'm gonna hold on alt and position my mouse in between the two layers and click to clip the layer inside the text so i'm going to move this here like so and i'm going to type the writer that says the wolf all right and this is the final project okay so i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and if you're able to achieve this project simply post it on your instagram page and remember to tag me my instagram handle is at caesar graphics share like and comment on this tutorial i'll see you again in the next one peace